Hello, it's Jack Huxley with Tackle HD, and we have a new kit here. This is the Texas Crawl Beaver Kit, and um, just want to show it to you. It's pretty nice. These are great creature baits, specifically designed for bass. The kit comes with several hooks, several weights, and a variety of colors. Green pumpkin is the most versatile color, probably the color I'll pick out first. On a cloudy day, June bug is a great color. On a sunny day, watermelon red is a great color. And if you got dirty water, oh, this black and red is a great color. So they're all good colors. I'm gonna grab the June, or I'm gonna grab the green pumpkin one first and show you how I rig it on here. This is a three out hook, very sharp hook, it's an EWG style hook. And this rig is called the Texas rig. Okay, pretty good size weight here. It's gonna be versatile to. Get down deep if you want to go deep or you know really i'm going to throw this lure in a lot of cover a lot of shoreline cover any kind of wood and so how i'm going to rig this thing i'm going to take the hook point right in the middle of the craw slide it in for about half an inch or so take the hook point out slide the lure down the hook shank once i get to the bend of the hook i'm going to work it around there what that bend does, it holds the lure in place. And then I'm going to take the hook point once again and push it through the worm or through the bait. And then tuck the hook point in just like so. Hopefully you guys can see that. This way it's weedless. But these baits are so soft. That's one of the great things about these plastics, is they're very soft plastics. The bass like to hold on to them, and it's easy to set the hook through them. And Generally speaking, you just slide the worm weight right there. Now, if you're in, really in really thick cover or maybe some thick vegetation, you could always uh, peg this if you want to. Um, but generally speaking, I just rig it like this, and um, this is great. This is a great bait. It's a you know it's a it's a bait that will catch fish year round, uh, uh, particularly in the spring and the in the fall when the fish are shallow along shallow cover. Uh, it'll work in rivers and around docks and you know, any kind of wood cover in particular. Um, you do want to set the hook pretty hard with this. Um, I'd say, you know, 10 pound test would be the absolute minimum, but more like your 12 to 14, 15 pound test. And, um, you know, you, when you get a bite, you can let them run with it for a second, and then you want to hit them fairly hard, and, um, well, the bite's on. So that's it, good luck. Hello everyone, it's Jack Uxa here with Tackle HD, and today I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy knot called a polymer. Um, what you do is you take your, uh, your fishing line and your eye of the hook, you put the line through the eye, turn it around, go back through the opposite direction. Now I'm going to pull out a little extra line. Okay, now I'm going to make an overhand knot. See there? I kind of snug it down a little bit. Now I'm going to put the lure through the loop. Okay. Now I'm going to moisten it just a touch. And now I'm going to pull the tag in with my tooth. Now I didn't cut through the line. I have scissors for that. This is your tag in. Cut that. Now I'm going to make sure it's all tight, just like so. Now, that's your polymer knot. I want you to try this and practice it at home before you guys go out to the lake. And um, if you practice this, for, you know, for two or three nights beforehand, um, just tie it, cut it, tie it again. You know, you do that several times, you'll have it in, in a short period of time. And, um, and that's it. It's a great knot. I've been using it for 30 years. It's easy. Uh, that's about it. Tight lines.